here we have a probability question for the math CST exam. What is the probability of drawing two consecutive aces from a standard deck of cards? So a standard deck of cards has 52 cards. That's something uh, you need to know in case that information is not provided to you. And in a deck of cards, there's four of each kind of card. Four of each kind. So it's four aces, four twos, four threes, four fours, four fives, four jacks, etc. And when we talk about probability questions, usually there's two paths we can take, depending on the question. I like to call them the and path and the or path. In the and path, we will be multiplying, and in the or path, we will be adding. So the or path usually will have the word or, like what is the probability I will draw two blue socks from my drawer or two red socks from my drawer. If it doesn't say or, you can kind of assume it'll be an and problem. Uh, I know the answer is a bit loose, but another way you can think about it is, let's read the question again. What is the probability of drawing two consecutive aces from a standard deck of cards? So consecutive means back to back. As soon as you draw that first ace, what's the probability you'll draw that second ace? So it's two parts, but in the same um, category. We, we only want to know how, we want to know the probability of drawing two consecutive aces back to back. That's it. We don't want to do that or something else. So two consecutive aces. We will be using the and multiplying here. Two consecutive aces. So let's just think about it. We have a deck of cards in front of us. There's 54 cards in that deck. Sorry, 52 cards in that deck. And we want to draw the first ace. There's four aces in each deck. So the probability the first time is we're going to is four out of fifty two. Okay, so now we pull that ace out, and our our deck of cards now has fifty one cards. Right, we we took the ace out. Now what's the probability we'll draw another ace? Well, since we took one ace out, there's also going to be three aces left in the deck. So now. We'll multiply these because we're, we're talking about an AND problem. So 4 times 3 is 12. 52 times 51 is 2652. So my calculator. Divide the top and bottom by 12. And I'll get 1 over 221. Looks like it's answer choice B. So the probability of drawing two consecutive aces from a standard deck of cards is one over one twenty one over two hundred twenty one.